The way we evolved was like this. Originally, we were just instinctive animals. We just habitually responded to life non-verbally via our programmed reptilian mind. We then evolved to generate the limbic system, the emotional mind that had the logic of a seven or an eight-year-old. However, we were still animals. Our brain unconsciously made decisions for us and then informed us of those decisions through agitating our organs, which we call feelings and emotions. And then only in the last 30,000 years or so, we grow prefrontal cortex, the neocortex, and the part of our brain that adds language, logic, reason, rules, fairness, kindness, love, and all the facilities that make us human rather than animal. Put another way, evolutionary speaking, we are emotional creatures who have recently learned to think. Conscious logical language based on thinking was the last faculty that evolved within us. It was thinking, language, it was an add-on. It was an add-on to an already successful childlike emotional creature. It was what moved us from animals to humans. Now here's the takeaway that I metaphorically need you to recognize. The conscious part and the subconscious, they're on two distinctly separate systems. One is who you feel you are and the other is who you think you are. The animal and the human the feeler and the thinker, instinct and logic, selfish and the kind. And neither part truly knows what the other one is doing, yet we assume that they understand each other, but they don't. They're on two distinctly separate systems running within us, and we need to manage them both if new ways of finding calmness is our goal. Now, a person experiencing anxiety is primarily operating like a thinking creature who's trying to control their emotions, but that's just not how we're wired up. It makes things worse. Let me repeat this. We are emotional creatures who've learned to think. Your subconscious mind cannot even understand what you're consciously thinking about because it doesn't process language at all well. Your subconscious mind, which controls your emotions, isn't listening to what you say. It's listening to how you say it, and it's responding to your tonality, your speed of thought, and what your body language is doing. That's why we talk softly to a crying baby. It soothes their subconscious mind, and we need to do the same. We need to learn to soothe our own unconscious. Your unconscious mind sits in the darkness of your skull, and if it could talk, which it can't, it would say, listen, I'm your unconscious mind. It's my job to keep you alive. It's my job to give you the right emotion at the right time to take you towards things that are good for you and away from things that are bad for you. But because I live in darkness, and because I don't understand language, I take my cues from the speed, tonality, and volume of your thinking and the, the behaviors of your body to guess what's happening out there and to hopefully give you the right response. Much like in the way a dog doesn't really know what our words mean, he's really responding to our tonality and our body language. And for those experiencing anxiety or OCD, because your thinking and worrying are never ending and panicky, the unconscious biologically gets overwhelmed from being triggered all the time. It gets tired and it gets drained, and this exhaustion is the source of all anxiety, OCD, and depression. And in the next video, I'm gonna prove this to you. For now, please be aware that we're entering into a vast topic. We've only just scratched the surface. You don't have all the answers yet, because you still need to know more about what you're actually dealing with. So let's recap what we've covered today. Do we want to be right or do we want to be happy? There is nothing in life we can truly control. What is the aspect of you that is still trying to control everything anyway? Yeah. Repetition programs the subconscious mind and it's okay to fib to your own subconscious mind to trick it into calming itself down and rewiring itself. By finding the observer aspect of yourself it's possible to watch thoughts and feelings rather than being caught up in them. Your body responds to all of your thoughts as if they're true. And we are emotional creatures who learn to think. Stop trying to be a thinking creature who controls emotions. Our subconscious mind does not process language. Therefore, you can't consciously think your way out of anxiety. It just makes it worse. Both your subconscious mind and your conscious mind are on completely separate systems and they're not naturally working together. And this is at the core of your problem.